Hello everyone, my name is Agonius, a Grandmaster Tank player for Overwatch, here again to bring you tips on the tank heroes of the game. Today's hero is the uproarious crusader, Reinhardt. Reinhardt is the iconic tank for Overwatch, not only in design and gameplay, but also for his important role in competitive. Ryan is good at any level of the game and is a decent tank pick regardless of what map you're on. His role is to protect his team, punish enemies that get too close, and create space. First of all, for this guide we'll start by going over Reinhardt's abilities, and then mechanical tricks you can use to improve on those abilities, followed by the Reinhardt vs Reinhardt matchup, and ending with tips against civic heroes. Without any further delay, let's begin. Reinhardt is a German juggernaut with 500 HP. 200 of it being armor. His weapon of choice is his rocket hammer. With it, you can swing over a large arc of up to 5 meters and 75 damage with a rate of fire of 1 swing per 0.9 seconds. His main utility is his barrier field, a whopping 2000 HP barrier in a frontal wall in front of Reinhardt. While the shield is up, you move at reduced speed. When the barrier is down, after 2 seconds you heal 195 shield per second. If broken, the ability will invoke a 5 second cooldown, afterwards you'll be able to use again. If you've ever played even just a single game of Overwatch, you've seen a run needlessly use this ability towards his untimely demise. Yes, his charge ability. When charging, Reinhardt goes up to a potential of 55 meters, knocking people back and pinning those in the direct center of his trajectory. If you run a pin target into a wall, it deals a fatal 300 damage. Reinhardt's final basic ability is Fire Strike. With it, Reinhardt scrapes the ground throwing a linear projectile of fire. It does a solid 100 damage with a short 6 second cooldown. Reinhardt has one of the biggest game changer ultimates in the game, Earth Shatter. Mastering this ability can win teamfights alone, however, it can also be easily countered. Reinhardt throws his hammer to the ground, shattering it in a frontal cone, dealing 50 damage and knocking down every one hit, stunning them for 2.5 seconds. An important thing to note is that it has a 0.6 second cast time. With all of Ryan's abilities out of the way, let's hammer down some important general tips. Firstly, the most important tip for Reinhardt is the swing fire strike combo. If you swing and immediately fire strike, as soon as the hit marker appears, you can animation cancel it and do a bit of burst damage. If you only swing and fire strike, that's a total of 150 damage. That's enough to one shot a tracer and leave most other heroes low on health. Practice working this into your rotation whenever you start to melee something. If your fire strike is on cooldown, you can also animation cancel your swings the second they deal damage by putting up your shield. This is a good way to get some free chip damage and keep yourself safe. Speaking of Ryan's hammer, you can actually push people in the direction of your hammer swings when you hit them with it. With this, you can knock people off the map or swing them to a more favorable position so they can't get away. However, the opposite is true. You can also swing them to safety. Try to manage where you juggle them to maximize damage to your target. Your hammer swings go through barriers, so you can utilize this to efficiently take down an Orisa Supercharger or a protected Torbjorn turret if you're close. I've noticed a lot of players don't actively use this, but you can actually cheat out swings on your hammer. By this, I mean if you do a 360, you can actually hit every target around you before your swing animation ends. Although that isn't always useful, you can actually benefit from something else using this technique. As you can see here, when I swing on screen, my hammer can't hit the target that is to my left off screen. But what I can do is turn after I hit the target in front of me takes damage, and also hit the target on my left. This is largely due to Reinhardt's swing just being an invisible arc of damage. The most common tip for Ryan's fire strike is to always fire strike the enemy spawn door when you're defending. Although this is something you should do, its premise is something you should look to be practicing the whole match. Your main source of alt charge will be your fire strike, so look for value in every use. It can also go through barriers. The most useful trick for Ryan's shield is shield hopping. If you put your shield up as you jump, you can move at basically the same pace as running. But having your shield up on top of that, this is the best way to close distance safely. You should use this for most engagements, especially with a Lucio speed boost. Fun fact! You can use your camera to look around by holding up your shield and pressing your primary fire button. Not only is this useful for checking around yourself in corners, but you can exploit this mechanic with Fire Strike and Earth Shatter. If you look directly behind you with the shield, you can fake out a Fire Strike or a bigger Shatter. I'll typically use this method against enemy runs. If you turn your back to them, they may lower their guard and push in, or you can punish them with an instant 180 or shatter. Unfortunately, this does not work on Ryan's charge ability. 
If your shield gets a Hanzo Sonic Arrow or a Pulse Bomb attached, you can drop them wherever you'd like by lowering your shield and putting it back up to block the damage. For the Hanzo Arrow, drop it somewhere useless where they can't scout your team. Another neat trick is if you have a Pulse Bomb on your shield, you can clip it through a wall so it won't deal any damage. One of the biggest mistakes I see Reinhardts do is standing in a choke when their team is not caught up yet, taking a lot of unnecessary damage to their shields. Simply hide around a corner and put up your shield when it's time to push in. One important general tip for Rhine's charge is to practice counter charging. When you see their Rhine start to charge towards you, wait until it gets close and use your own charge. This will knock both of you down and allow your team to take care of him. If you pin someone, there are certain heroes and hero created entities you can use as walls. For example, Urusa while well, she has Fortify active, Urusa Supercharger, Torbjorn's turret, Maze Ice Wall, and Maze Ice Block. You can cliff charge someone off an edge if you position yourself at just the max distance of your charge, so you don't fly off the edge, but your pin target does. This is not very effective to use against someone with the ability to get back up, like Genji. Be warned, however, as you won't be there to defend your team. Earth Shatter takes longer to stun if you're jumping or falling, because as soon as you press the button, Ryan will yell down! before even touching the ground. This will give time for enemies to react and even avoid your shatter altogether. Your Earth Shatter has something called a creep time. What this means is that there's travel time between you and the end of the shatter cone, and it lingers for a short second. Enemies that aren't in range but step in within that window will still get knocked down. You can shatter to hit enemies using the payload as cover since it doesn't count as a wall. One last thing to note, in the main tank role, communication is crucial, and talking on your microphone and coordinating with your team is absolutely required to climb. With all the general tips out of the way, let's move on to the Reinhardt vs Reinhardt mirror. This matchup is common and can decide whether your team wins a fight or loses it in most scenarios. The key to beating an enemy Reinhardt isn't just outplaying him, but it's also outsmarting him. Let's go over a few things that you can do. First of all, keeping track of the enemy Rhine shatter is a must. Tell if a Reinhardt is their shatter, you can get an idea by keeping track of his fire strikes. If a Reinhardt has shatter, he is less likely to spam fire strike every 6 seconds, since he doesn't need the ult charge. A Rhine without shatter will almost definitely use it on cooldown. Speaking of fire strike cooldowns, if you have shatter, you can count to 6 after their Rhine uses fire strike, since most likely he'll throw another one down when it goes off cooldown. Using this, you can use your ultimate just as he's about to shoot and stun him. If you know the enemy Reinhardt has shatter, try to bait it out. At lower skill levels, Reins will be extremely predictable, and you should look to abuse that to block it. The more you go Reinhardt versus Reinhardt, the more you'll notice trends in their behavior. Use your melee animation cancel with your shield as I talked about earlier to try and bait it out. At higher ranks, Reinhardts will play unpredictably just as you are. If you have quick reflexes and low ping, keep your shield down but play in a position where the very fraction of a second you see the earth shatter animation wind up, immediately put up your shield. If you have a Brigitte on your team, communicate over mic with them and coordinate her shield bash and your earth shatter. If done correctly, their Rhine won't be able to block it. If their Reinhardt charges towards a wall past you, you should try to charge where he'll land on the wall and punish him for charging in. If you're caught in a Graviton, sometimes it's a good idea to shatter the enemy Rhine as he'll most likely drop his shield to start swinging into your team. Don't do this if they have a Hanzo comboing into you. The same is also true if your team lands a grab on their team. Sometimes it's best to keep your shield up even if they're all trapped, so your team can safely clear them. When you get nano boosted, don't drop your shield right away. Fake out with your first swing. The enemy Rhine will most likely try to shut you down with the shatter. Likewise, you should look to stun the opposing nano boosted Rhine. When trying to disengage, you can use the enemy Rhine's hammer swings to your advantage. Jump with your shield as you get hit by the enemy Rhine's hammer, and you can manipulate yourself into getting knocked back further. And with that, let's go over 20 tips against specific heroes. Against D.Va, hold your shield up against micro missiles to soak most of the damage when she dives you. If a D.Va bomb drops, make sure to keep your shield up when it explodes to keep your teammates alive. For Orisa, wait until her fortify is down if you intend to charge her. When her supercharger is up, it's usually your job to kill it as your hammer goes through barriers. If she attempts to pull you, move your shield and block its line of sight. Against Roadhog, Try to bait out his hook with melee cancels and shield hopping. Once he uses it, he's not as much of a threat to your team and will usually disengage until it's off cooldown. Winston is not a big threat to you as your armor makes it so his tesla cannon just tickles you. Don't attempt to earth shatter until his shield is down and on cooldown. Against Bastion, 
Try to close distance quickly or with the natural environment and minimize shield damage, since you'll need it to close the last bit of unavoidable distance. Charge him when you're close and he won't be able to stop you. For Genji, it's entirely worth using an Earth Shatter on him, especially if he's nano boosted. One ultimate being used is better than losing a fight because the Genji takes out both of your supports. Against McCree, when he goes to flashbang over your shield, jump and attempt to block it. If successful, it will usually end with a dead cowboy. Keep your distance against Reaper and stick with your teammates. He will f you up. If you hear a Junkrat tire, keep your shield down until it gets in range of you, and pop up your shield before it detonates to fake it out. If Azaria uses Graviton Surge and you're not caught in it, jump in and keep your shield up to protect your team. Keep your shield up for the duration of Soldier, McCree, Reaper, and Pharah's ultimates. Against Torbjorn, do not engage him until he's used his overload, as it makes him just as deadly as a Reaper for you in close range. When you hear him yell Molten Core, try to stand in his face since his lava's trajectory is stopped by barriers. Bait out Anna's sleep and anti-nade when pushing her with shield hopping and melee cancelling. If you get anti-naded in the middle of a fight, keep your shield up and back behind cover or to your back line until you're healed up. Against Widow, don't drop your shield as often and coordinate your team to play around her sights. You can block Wrecking Ball's pile driver with your shield. Once he hits the ground, you can generally pin him easily with his predictable path and large hitbox to punish him. You can swing into Wrecking Ball's mines before they arm, taking out a majority of them before they're even a threat. You can ride Roadhog's ultimate to safety by jumping and shield hopping in reverse. For Brigitte, there's only really one thing you should do as a Rhine main. Okay, but in all seriousness, for Brigitte, don't go too forward from your team, so if she shield bashes you, your team can punish her. For Sombra, if you hear her finger start to hack you, quickly turn your shield in the direction to block it. If you know Sombra is about to EMP and you can't escape it, put down your shield, as you'll take a lot of shield damage if it's up. And finally, for Doomfist, if he's going to charge straight at you, use your charge to knock him down so your team can kill him. You can also block his ultimate with your shield. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a like and subscribe. The love for my Winston guide was crazy, so I hope I delivered on this one just as much. If I missed anything, or if you have any suggestions for types of content you'd like to see, be sure to let me know in the comments. And I hope this video helped you improve in any way, shape, or form. I've got a Discord server if you'd like to chat with other Overwatch-oriented people and myself, or if you're just looking for another server to add to your already gross collection. Link in the description.